Hi boys and girls, today's story is Santa is coming to Michigan. Well, boom Santa, have all the children from Michigan been good this year? Well, mostly, answered the little old elf as he bustled across the busy workshop to Santa's desk. Santa peered down at the elf from behind the tall, teetering piles of letters that the children of Michigan had sent him. Mostly, asked Santa, looking over his glasses. Yes, but they've all been especially good in the last few days, said the elf. Jolly good, chuckled Santa. Then we'd better get their presents loaded up. Even though the sack of presents was really, really big, and the elves were really, really small, they seemed to have no trouble loading it onto Santa's sleigh. Though how they managed to fit such a big sack onto one little sleigh, even they didn't know. But somehow they did. Splendid, boomed Santa. We're ready to go. Uh, not quite, Santa, said the little old elf. One of our reindeer is missing. Missing? Which reindeer is missing, asked Santa. The youngest one, Santa, said the elf. It's his first flight tonight. I've called him and called him, but... Just then, a young reindeer strolled up, munching on a large carrot. Where have you been, asked Santa. The youngest reindeer was crunching so loudly that it was no wonder he hadn't heard the little old elf calling. Oh, well, never mind, said Santa, giving the reindeer a little wink. He took out his Santa navigation and tapped in the coordinates for Michigan. This will guide us to Michigan in no time. Crunch, crunch, crunch. With a flick of the reins and a jerk of the harness, off they went, racing through the sky. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. We'll soon have these presents delivered to the Great Lake State. Santa's sleigh flew through the starry night, heading south and across the Arctic Ocean. On they flew, in the wintry air over Canada. In the wink of an eye, the sleigh was flying above Lake Superior and on to Michigan. The youngest reindeer was very excited. He had never been away from the North Pole before. They had just crossed over Lake Huron when suddenly they ran into a blizzard. Snowflakes whirled around the sleigh. They couldn't see a thing. The youngest reindeer was getting a bit worried, but Santa didn't seem concerned. In two miles, said the Santa navigation in a bossy lady's voice, keep left at the next star. But ma'am, Santa blustered, I can't see any stars in all this snow. Soon they were hopelessly lost. Ding dong, ding dong. Then through the howling blizzard, the youngest reindeer heard a faint ringing sound. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. He looked over at the old reindeer with the red nose, but he had his head down. Ding dong, ding dong. There was that sound again, like church bells ringing. The youngest reindeer turned around to look at Santa, but Santa wasn't listening. He seemed to be arguing with a little box with buttons on it. With a flick of the harness and a jerk of the reins, the youngest reindeer gave a sharp tug and headed off toward the sound of the bells, pulling Santa and a sleigh behind him. Whoa, cried Santa, pulling his hat straight. What's going on? Then to his surprise, he heard the ringing sound. Well done, young reindeer, he shouted cheerfully. It must be the bells of St. Joseph's Church in Detroit. Don't worry, children, Santa is coming. Then suddenly, crunch. The sleigh hit something as it plummeted through the snow clouds. You have arrived, said the Santa navigation unhelpfully. Finally, when the snow had died down and the clouds parted, Santa discovered exactly where they were stuck right at the very top of the Renaissance Center. Everybody pull! The reindeer pulled with all their might until at last with a screeching noise the sleigh scraped clear of the Renaissance Center. Santa steered them safely over the skyscrapers along Atwater Street above Millican State Park and Harbor and down into Gabriel Richard Park. Okay so there's where they're stuck at the top of the Renaissance Center. Luckily, there was no real damage done, but the packages had all been jumbled up. 
Santa quickly sorted the presents into order again. All right, said Santa, thanks to this young reindeer, I know where we are now. Don't worry, children, Santa is coming. Santa drove his sleigh expertly from rooftop to rooftop all over Michigan, popping in and out of chimneys as fast as he could go. There were big chimneys in Grand Rapids and small chimneys in Kalamazoo. He squeezed down thin chimneys on Mackinac Island and plummeted down fat chimneys in Traverse City. The youngest reindeer was amazed at how quickly they went. Santa never seemed to get tired at all, and it looked like the children in Michigan were going to be very lucky this year. But the youngest reindeer was starting to feel a bit tired and quite hungry too. In house after house, Santa delved inside his sack for packages of every shape and size. He piled them under the Christmas trees and carefully filled out the stockings with surprises. In house after house, the good children of Michigan had left out a plate of cookies, a small glass of milk, and a big crunchy carrot. Santa took a little bite out of each cookie, a tiny sip of milk, wiped his beard, and popped the carrots into his sack. From Grand Haven to Sheboygan, from Ann Arbor to Petoskey, from Marquette to Menominee, and all the places in between, Santa and his sleigh visited every house in the UP and the Mitten. Santa delivered presents to Andrew, Allison, Anna, Arabella, Archie, Ashley. The list went on and on. Zach, Zara, Zeb, Zoe, Zibel. Okay, so this, uh, this page is showing a lot of different places in Michigan. Finally, Santa had delivered the last present on his long Michigan list. Great moons and stars, sighed Santa. It's past midnight and my sack seems as heavy as ever. Hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Santa opened his sack to check, but it was full of juicy, crunchy carrots. Santa divided the carrots among all the reindeer. Well done, he said, patting the youngest reindeer gently on the nose. But the youngest reindeer didn't hear him. He was too busy munching. Then it was time to set off for home. Santa reset his Santa navigation for the North Pole, and soon they were speeding above Lansing, past Saginaw, and over tall lighthouses through the crisp, starry night. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Merry Christmas, Michigan. Okay, and that's the end of the story.